Hello everyone, good evening, it is me Plasma and today I am continuing Fallout 3, woohoo! <laughs> now I had kind of a multiplayer weekend with playing Borderlands 3 and uh, Warhammer 40k Darktide, it's my usual weekend games, so yeah, after a multiplayer weekend I am continuing my uh, Fallout 3 adventures again. And it's gonna be exciting because I only have two DLCs left. Maybe like half of Point Lookout and then um, Mothership Zeta, it's called the last one, I think. So possibly. Zeta, it's called the last one. Possibly tomorrow I might finish Fallout. We'll see. Because tomorrow I should have a bit more time to play, but also not like a super a lot because have to go sleep a bit earlier, but definitely more than today. So let's start it and see how much we can actually finish today. Well, you know, maybe it would also go a bit faster if uh, I was not losing on my steam packs. I have to be really careful about that, because if I lose my steam packs again and I will not notice it immediately, I will have to replay so much. I really, really don't want to lose all my steams. That's for sure. I spent like 150 hours collecting all these stamps and... So... Do I have my stamps? Yeah, I do. Maybe I can go and activate the self-destruct of the submarine. But I, I think that they disappeared after that, but I'm not like sure. So I will try it again. Hopefully I will not lose all my stems now. to go underwater. Do I still have my stems? Still have my stems.
Oh, I still have my stim packs. Me to return to the motel. <clears throat> so I don't know what happened before. Maybe I loaded them out somewhere, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the code is one three two three four four two. I've already done that. One three two three four four two. And I have my armor, I have my stim packs, radix right away. Like these three are the most important. I have my weapons, I brought here metal blaster, ghost rifle and victory rifle, yeah. So, so far so good. Now we are going to... I've already done this. Um... Oh yeah, I have to go to the toilet tank. I forgot about that. So there should be something in the toilet tank. Okay, the glasses. I hate to be scared losing my health, uh, my stem packs. Like, I have to think about it all the time. Kind of sucks. And I mean, maybe if it was some other place, you know, than this. But I feel like here I really need a lot of stems because it's hard. No, I'm just making so many proper saves. So yeah, thanks to the glasses, I see these numbers. So it should be one, three, two, three, four, three, four, four, two. Okay, here. Ooh, 205. Stream streak. Extraction debriefing, comrade. <sighs> Please step inside, agent. Extraction details can be found on the terminal inside. I know that there was a special weapon to get in here.
Okay, let's get all this ammunition. And the Chinese are offering, we accept all this ammunition. Yeah, that was the backwater rifle. You have done well to get this far, Agent Yank. Your payment has been transacted to, uh, transacted to your next of kin under the pretext of a ration lottery. With deepest regret, however, your life must now be terminated for the good of the People's Republic. Go with dignity, honorable soldier. One eleven kilometers on the bike. I'm a soggy mess. Wow, I'm proud of you, fishy. You go. You can do it. No, that's a really, a really good, good job. So that mission is finished, and I didn't lost my steam packs. Maybe I want to use the new weapon. I have been doing a minimum of 3.3 kilometers every day, but today I was distracted flirting with women. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Did you see some women on the way? Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, doesn't it feel good to be doing these kind of things? I always feel so, so much better. Like I, I, I'm looking forward and start walking again. I really loved it, but because of my injury, I couldn't do it for a while. So can't wait to get back to it. Exercise bike, I'm not going out into that scary world, someone would steal my bike. Oh, oh, at home. I don't know why I was thinking, uh... I don't know why I was thinking that it was, uh, outside. I guess maybe because we call those bikes something else. 
Well, at least in check. Like we have different words on depending if it's like a, you know, inside stationary bike or a bike you use outside. It's nice, but I wanted to stream during the day today, and it's kind of derailed that plan. Still need to make dinner, shower, and it's 8 p.m. Yeah, but I mean, can stream at night as well, right? I mean, especially if you don't have anything in the morning, it shouldn't matter too much, I think. I think it's a bit worse when stupid me wakes up too late and then I have to go to work. Then I just don't have enough time. And then I have regrets that I didn't get up earlier, but I have I can there's nothing I can do with it. That's why I like my free days, because then it doesn't matter when I <clears throat> wake up. It's just like, well, I can start my stream at 2 a.m. If I don't work. I'm waking up at <coughs> 4 or 5 p.m. every day. I don't like streaming at night. It's too easy to screw up my pattern. <coughs> yeah, but one time thing. Maybe it just happens once. It's not the worst. Oh, you know, maybe we'll just do a short one. <coughs> Tomorrow you wake up early and then you will <coughs> do a longer one. I cannot proceed, so, so that's where I was supposed to go. Uh, maybe just alongside this place. I like to wake up 4 or 5 p.m. Problem is that many times I wake up later than that. Mm, thank you, laser. I've been here already. <coughs> Maybe I'm supposed to go to the other side, I think so. Creepy, creepy place. How are you enjoying uh, Andromeda so far? is like plasma's dead. No. no don't my character looked super cute she was such a cutie
This asshole was just hitting me. thought that you don't you can't jump man if I make you stuck on these uh, rocks and then blew your head off Eighty-five percent chance it will not break and it's still broke. I don't care. I'm supposed to go over there. Why do I think that there is gonna be something nasty inside? I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Oh, okay, I'm a bit scared. Little bit scared. Because I know there's gonna be something nasty inside. Probably just drink some coffee. Okay, book entrance. Well, maybe it will have a, like a very friendly inhabitants, and we will all have coffee and cake together, and just really good times.
Maybe they will not want to eat me alive or anything like that. Okay, this is like a completely new location. I had no idea there was more. There's definitely worse shit that could be here in my lurks. And that's where I came from. Amazing face shots. Because there were two ways to go. One was the waterway. <laughs> he is lying. <laughs> like, you know, these dogs who just sleep with their feet up. 
Because this guy's not that much sleeping. Well, at least I got behind him. This is actually the rifle I found in this DLC, so it feels nice to be using this equipment. setting up the bad chips. So I don't step into it when I'm running away from here. Mysterious stranger. He was already dead, so why couldn't you kill the other one? so good. His head was even spinning. Someone was even making milder cakes. some enemies. 
that. Others are a bit rougher. Or aggressive. Such a creepy, creepy music. There's another one. I prefer them over these mutated uh, villagers or whoever they are. But those ones were so much more brutal. And they have sh shooting guns, so. But they kind of always felt worse as well. Activate Bubblehead Intelligence. You have found a uh, scarment. Tech Limited Edition Bubblehead. The inscription of the base rats will look right into another trap. Exactly how stupid are you? <laughs> Is it just something I'm dreaming? Or have I really found it? No. I don't think so. Feels like I have hallucinations or something. 
The bubble head was kind of huge. Oh, there is another one there. You found the limited edition bubble and the inscription of the base 3. This is one situation you are not going to be able to fight your way out. Yeah, another bubble hut. Uh, the inscriptions on the base streets. Keep it up, you're almost there. Whenever there may be, probably nowhere. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I have some weird visions. Uh, the inscription on this base reads, isn't it funny how everything you get close uh, to ends up leaving? Well, more like exploding. To be honest. The inscription on the base reads, this doesn't look right. Not right at all. Make it look like that, I would ab abandon it too. That's my mom! I'm definitely having some kind of weird death settler. Amata. Elder Lions. Moira Brown. Not Moira! Another bubble hat. The inscription on the base reads, Dead mother, life in a post-nuclear wasteland and not a friend in it. Yeah, you weren't exactly blessed. Congratulations, my dear. You're going to pull through and everything will be right as rain. No, no, don't, don't try to you will only hurt yourself. So what did happen in there? Was I supposed to talk to that man?
I guess. Check if I have my stems. You are welcome to our tribe. Truly, the Mother Panga has bestowed her wisdom upon you, and your mind has been expanded. What happened to me? Why does my head hurt so much? That is merely the sensation of your consciousness rushing to embrace its true potential. It is the feeling of having no boundaries, no limits. Yea, though your body will bear the scars of the ritual, your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcome in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened sister. The Punga power perk has been added. You now receive better effects from eating Punga fruit. Ooh. What does this tribe believe in? We espouse the expansion of the perfect mind and the rejection of the corrupt physical. The material world is destroyed and imperfect. We seek to release our minds from their tainted cages so as to find a better world. Who leads this tribe? Leader? That would be Jackson. A man of great wisdom. Daniel Jackson? He has withdrawn to his cavern of communion. The better to contemplate the unknowable. Only the righteous are trusted to know where this nexus of understanding lies. And alas, I am not so blessed. Uh... Where can I find alas, Jackson? Only the worthy may enter his nexus of meditation. He has not seen fit to enlighten me. Okay, there's something wrong about it. Why did you attack the mansion? Our most enlightened one divined that the fates themselves did decree the mansion must be burnt to the ground. How do you get so much punga fruit to grow here? It is a gift from the earth itself, in acknowledgement of our perfect balance with nature and the higher planes. She recognizes that we seek to leave behind the corrupt physical, and she nurtures us in our quest. I have to go now. May you find your way. Okay. Uh... Yeah, they have refined Pungas here. Punga, punga, punga. What is the difference? This one gives 12 HP and the refine gives 18 and it removes radiation. Meat fruit which removes radiation, that sounds really good. They even have a dry toilet. Relax. But when I was killing those guys, it was saying that they were evil. Uh, I'm too heavy.
kind of want to start the punga for it somewhere. So what if I go... I was thinking of going back to the ship and storing it there. Yeah, the punga fruit was very heavy. Okay, now I can go. What character? Well, under my desk character. I guess you weren't listening. <laughs> He was having a conversation about Andromeda with you. Or with myself, maybe, since you didn't hear it. Relax. Can't relax when you're standing behind me. Oh, I said I need to make dinner and shower. You talk to yourself. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were leaving immediately. My character is nice looking and the game is great. I really like that. Make the planet hospitable gameplay. Yeah, I felt like they kind of... Transcend. Gave the game a bad reputation because it had these weird uh, faces on the release. And after all, it wasn't as a bad game. Like, it definitely the gameplay was really fun. Even, like, the multiplayer was really fun. Well, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer was very limited with your movement. I can't access multiple because EA bagged it when they upgraded to Deluxe. Oh shit. I don't even know if I can access it anymore. It's been a while since we played it. But it was really fun. Escape to the mine. I really have a lot of this punga thing and I can take all of it. <laughs> I just joined. I'm a new recruit. And they let me take all their punga. Maybe it grows fast, I don't know. Puga puga! Wow! Escape oh! To the mind. And you as well. 
mind at ease. Escape to the mind. Escape to the mind. I remember I was even trying a Dragon Age multiplayer, but there wasn't uh, as great uh, player base for it. It's a bit hard to find players. Yeah, I did. And I don't understand why people don't like it. I've seen on discords and everywhere so many like uh, complaining about it how it looks so bad and i'm like i don't see how it looks bad <laughs> or how it looks even different from inquisition i don't know it just feels the same well was inquisition really less cartoony And just also like based on some trail that are like why do people have to complain all the time? Why we can't just be happy <gasps> oh. Go something troubles you I'm most happy when I'm unhappy. Okay, I don't understand it. <laughs> Too complicated. Make I'm just kind of hoping that they will make the combat a bit better. Like, I really enjoyed combat in the first game. I enjoyed combat in the second game. Even the world was very... Escape. Different. Another new member? What, are we offering a special? Punga may have offered you wisdom. <laughs> But it looks like it's still going to be a while before you really learn to accept it. Until then, you answer to me. I'm Woodrose, the tribe mother. Ooh, new mother. I hope if they do an open world, they actually fill it with things this time. Inquisition was so underwhelming. Well, I also did not really like the combat very much. I felt like 1 and 2 was very tactical. And this third one, I didn't even have to pause the game. You could just play it like normally. They made it so casual. It was really weird. Because like you could see me in Dragon Age Origins. Like I was pausing all the time and I had to replay some of the fights. And had to be like really pausing and really giving the in instructions and, and solving that shit I got into. I don't know. I felt like in Inquisition I just let it go. And it worked. But that's what I think that they maybe wanted to make it a bit more casual so it would be for more people than like these very tactical players. Not so fast, Grub. You haven't earned the right to go to the Transcended Master's Retreat. But do who leads this tribe? Damn, you are wet behind the ears. Jackson leads us, and don't you forget, when he talks, you listen up and catch every word. Not that you'll be hearing much for now. He's off meditating. But I was really happy with my sex scene. My sex scene in Inquisition was really great. We were doing it on a table. What do you do in this tribe? I'm Den Mother. I keep us safe and make sure everyone remembers to eat and sleep. It's more work than you might think. A lot of our members have transcended conscious thought. Someone's got to take care of them. I send one poo picture and it's the worst thing in the world, but banging on a table is okay. <laughs> well... Are you comparing banging on the table to a poop picture? I don't know. 
Unless you are very much into poop. You never want to see any poop pictures. Why did you attack the mansion? Jackson said he saw its destruction in a vision. There were some concerns, but when the leader says it's a mandate from beyond, you don't ask why. Okay, you don't ask questions. Why do you grow the so much punga here? Are you kidding? Why wouldn't we? As much as we want to reject earthly desires, we still need to eat, right? It grows fast, fills you up. That's why you let me you take it because it grows fast. Anything it doesn't provide, we can get by trading it to outsiders. That shifty bastard Tobar's always looking to buy more from us. May you okay. Please wait until my meditations are complete. This is your meditation? Okay, man. If this is a meditation, you are weird. Transcend. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. You have to drinking. Looks like another newbie in the tribe. And still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? What do you mean, lucky? You still remember your name? Math? How's your memory? When I came back, there were bits in my memory where all I could recall was a white light and a jumble of voices. Crazy, huh? But you're not drooling, so you're doing okay. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. Heads cut open? What are you talking about? You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back, cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back, but that doesn't always work out so good. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. Did they cut my head and extracted part of my brain? That doesn't sound good. Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. We're not allowed to know where it is. He says we're not enlightened enough to understand. I swear that sort of stuff pisses me off so much. I thought joining would be all drugs and magic, but it's just the same crap as everywhere else. Guess that's why I trailed Jackson to his stupid mystery cave. It doesn't sound like you're having much fun here. I only been here a week or so, but I'm about ready to ditch this bunch of dummies. I already stole all the punga I could ever need. Hey, if you still want to know where Jackson's hiding, I can help you out. No reason for me to give a damn about this place, you know? His cave's under the cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you get it on You're my scar? You're a lucky one, and it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own, and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now, hold still, and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. Who cut my head open? Yeah, it's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm gonna go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. Ooh. Nadine, your mother asked me to find you. Why did you attack the mansion? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was all Jackson's crazy idea. I knew better than to volunteer for that suicide mission. Last time I wandered too close to that mansion, some old ghoul sicked his dogs on me. Screw that. Hmm, tell me about yourself. What is this, a date? <laughs> you start making a move and it's stabbing time. <laughs> Not really tell what? me about you. There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Okay, uh... Well, there's not much to... 
Nadine, your mother asked me to find you. Look, it's not that I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually, just not quite yet. Hey, maybe I can help you to... Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Make your mark. My two full again. Well, I threw away some of the wild one. Go past the flesh. Transcend. You are new, and you are welcome. I am Croatoa. I am not so new. I'm not so new. But can I find Jackson? Not here. What does this tribe do? We dream. Dream of a better world. Not falling apart like ours. And when we find a dream that makes <laughs> us forget this world, we dream that we do not have to wake up. Why did you attack the mansion? That hill is holy. It must be cleared. Jackson told us this. Some went to fight. I stayed with Ponga. Ponga does not fight. Ponga grows where it can. Ponga knows what is important. Hmm. How do you get so much Punga fruit to grow Ponga here? Ponga grows strong. I help Ponga grow stronger. Ponga understands me. I understand Ponga. That is all it needs to be. I understand. Oh, Child at Heart. Isn't it easy a kit? I guess. Since I can use childhood heart. I love digging in the dirt, but I never can get anything to grow right. It feels good to work with dirt, doesn't it? Some people call it work, but they don't understand. Take my He doesn't shovel. sound like Kit. It has seen much use and much dirt. Maybe it will help you. But be careful not to cut yourself with it. It can make you sick. Fertilizer shovel edit. Okay. Be well.
Oh, it's a weapon. Okay. Well, I'm overweight again, so I need to throw away more wild punga. Exactly three. Go past the flesh. I need to go to the boat. Hey, just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. Wait, Tobar did it? Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, He'd be waiting around to nab him when the Pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sorta. How do I know you're telling the truth? <laughs> Sounds pretty wacko, right? Well, I wouldn't have believed me either until I snuck a peek in Tobar's engine room. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. Uh, so now what are you going to do? First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Woohoo! Any chance you're going home now? Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I could head back home. For a while, anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Cool. Let me just put some Punga Punga in here. Okay, well... <clears throat> well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Hmm... So it's true. Why did you do it? 
Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. Hey! You asshole. Well, he attacked me. He was not doing many much damage. Duchess Gambit key. Oh, so this is the brains. This is pieces of our brains. So disgusting. Brains everywhere. We having fun yet? Okay, I'm going for the moonshine, I think. Well, if it ain't my favorite out of towner. Has the tonic finished brewing? Should be ready in a matter of hours. Check back soon. And not yet. Finding your way around? Well, if it ain't my... Should be ready in a matter of hours. Check back soon. We keep saying that. Good thing, sweetie. Tonics brewed and bottled? Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. Uh, can we make another batch of tonic? You're an eager one, ain't you? I have to let the still air out a few days between brews. Check back with me later. Okay. Right. Don't be a stranger now. Sure. That quest is done. Return to Desmond. Um, it's at night, pretty much. Ma I look at you. Oh, well, I guess let's go exploring a bit.
I do like this DLC. I can definitely see why it's uh, one of the best ones. Space. Oh, you ran off. Safe distance from this guy for sure. Is that I'm in danger. Just don't know why. Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, he's dead. To explore uh, the locations of this island. So after this DLC, I have one more DLC left. What is this recording? Oh, tape note. Doesn't give me anything new. Wow, so many railroad spikes here. Oh, I think I accidentally took something else as well. Always good to see a stranger. Hey. Well, hello there. Welcome to, uh... Welcome to Haley's Hardware. Where we have... Hardware. Hardware. <laughs> uh, is something wrong? No, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well... I usually smell them before I see them. Who are your Swamp folk mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. 
They mostly trade meat and fruit. Never any cash or goods. The mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. So how long have you had this store? Oh, you're thinking... No, no. It's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple of years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. Okay. So did that guy also get part of your brain? Where do you get your stock from? I found some of it. Some was here when I got here. I got some from the mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? Uh, can you repair something? Sure, the swamp folks' head me. is squishy. Uh, okay, done. I wanted to talk about you, Haley. There's not much to tell. What do you want to know? Uh, okay. Sure. Show me what you I have got for all sale. sorts of stuff. Take a look. Not much. Okay, uh, I wanted to make a proper save, I think. Uh, I want to be stealing his things.
Okay. Well, that was a store. So now there is one thing there. There is two things that way, but that is the way I'm supposed to walk. So maybe I will check those things first. Yeah, I kind of want to explore everything in the area. Let's check this out. I don't like the river shit.
Oh, fee clan pot. Mr. Tracker. Okay, administration tent. <sighs> Collective benevolence. Unit mission para parameters. Evaluate medical and social needs of local populace. Raise awareness of health risks and provide aid on a local need basis. Assist with federal fitness registry compliance program. Volunteers must always uphold the standards of their collective benevolence program in public and private. New plague public information. <clears throat> know the signs. Safeguard yourself and your community by knowing how to identify a person suffering from the new plague. Common symptoms include profuse sweating and explained ca con contusion swelling, massive external hemorrhaging, new idols such as so socialism. <clears throat> Remember, when you believe you have come into contact with a person exhibiting one or more of these telltale signs, remember to CIR. C. Confirm symptoms. Approach the person suffering from symptoms if no civil or medical professional is available to do so. Verify that the subject is exhibiting symptoms of new plague. So these weird people around, they have the new plague, I guess. <coughs> Isolate. I is isolate. Once it's been established that a case of new plague may be present, separate yourself and the person exhibiting symptoms from the general population as the new plague is notoriously contagious. R. Report. Report directly to the nearest Federal Fitness Registry of Medical Center and let the professionals handle it from there. 
Protect yourself. The new plague is what's commonly known as a social disease. This means that the new plague is especially contagious and can be commonly caught in the course of social interactions such as ice cream socials, cruising main street, promiscuous activities, sodomy, attending fairs or festivals. So what's the best protection against social diseases? Why not stay home and enjoy a novel or a home-cooked meal? Limiting your exposure to other individuals is the best and more surefire way to avoid contracting the new plague. Get registered. Did you know that your government can protect you from the new plague and other biological dangers? It's true. And all you need to do is visit your local federal fitness registry. Friendly federal professionals will be on hand to take a few minor samples and enter you in the national registry. Your compliance with the federal, reg federal registry program not only keeps medical professionals up to date on your medical history and status, but contributes to valuable research programs and make you eligible for special prizes such as purations or vacations to exotic domestic locals. And this last one was unit lead locks. Lock M31. Arrived this first car load of volunteers today. Federal presence uh, is nil. I guess the registry program came and went here at some point. There's some leftover equipment from them I've been authorized to remove from storage and use. We've got some basic antibiotics and hygiene supplies and a couple boxes of new plague awareness pamphlets. Not much to work with yet, but we were at least able to get a set get settled into the motel. For now I will focus on setting up uh, our outreach center with Victoria while the rest of our volunteers get out into the community and get a feel for their situation here. Lock entry 2. The location we were given as our outreach center was a joke. The place is half built and what's been put together so far looks like it's going to fall in on itself anytime. The real estate company wasn't much help. I sent a request for some field supplies so we can set up an outdoor center until this situation can be improved, improved upon. My volunteers are telling me that a lot of the area lacks basic infra infrastructure, so we will probably want to get started with some basic vaccines and sanitation supplies. I included some of this on today's purchase request, but I don't feel like we've got enough of a grasp on the local situation to request much more than, than that just yet. Log entry number 3. We stayed our first outreach event. We staged our first outreach event today, which didn't go well. The majority of the population in the center area of Point Lookout are transplants from nearby urban centers. Lots of contracted construction workers, support staff for local businesses, a handful of business people involved in the construction projects. We're here to help the rural people who don't have a pot to piss in. But those people don't seem to come into town. We need to reevaluate our efforts. The local populace seems recluse. We will have to get creative with our outreach. And log entry number four. Victoria was badly wounded today. She took a truck of supplies out to the Ark and Dove Cathedral uh, beyond the river. Most of the locals we want to help are living in the primitive dwellings in the West wetlands. The cathedral offered the closest public building to that area. She wasn't in much state to give details, but it sounds like nobody was around when she arrived. She ventured into the swamps to try and make contact with locals at one of the shacks out there. The paramedics are treating a wound on the back of, their, of her head. She will be okay, but it sounds like her skull was fractured. Victoria doesn't remember anything beyond blacking out. There was nothing stolen from her person or the medical supplies, but I'm still going to err on the side of caution and forbid volunteers from wandering out there alone. We will do the best we can from here. I wonder 
there something is on that thing? <clears throat> Nothing. Disaster relief outpost. Well, was this the first tent I entered? Yeah. Well, let's enter the other tents. Greetings, child. I'm Marcella, missionary and student of the faith. How are you? Pleased to meet you, Marcella. The feeling is mutual, child. I'd enjoy sharing my belief in the faith, if you'll listen. I want to know about your beliefs. What do you think about Point I'm relatively new here myself, but I'll share what I can. What do you think of the locals? Hostile, in a word. I try to observe, but these swamp folk are dangerously aggressive to any outsiders. Lucky for us, they tend to keep to the swamp. What do you make of all the bones and dolls on sticks around here? Swamp folk fetishes or totems, they probably mark territorial lines or maybe are involved with rituals of some kind. I've read about a lot of primitive beliefs that use similar symbols. Voodoo magic, centuria, obeya. Fascinating, if somewhat disturbing. Though the underlying beliefs seem quite dark, I'm not sure they're anything more than an empty set of traditions to the swamp folk. Did you set this campsite up? Sort of. The tents were collapsed when I found them. I was able to put them back together. This one smells the least like a wet Brahmin. I restored a terminal in one of the other tents. From that, it would seem that these tents were originally put here before the war by medical workers. Uh, you said you're not from around right. here. I'm from the Abbey of the Road. I'm afraid its location is secret, however. Okay. <clears throat> What else? I want to know about your beliefs. Would you beliefs. like me to recite some scripture? Or did you just want to know more about the faith? Scripture? My mother had a favorite passage from the Bible, Revelation 21, 6. Recognize it? Of course. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. So lovely. Selflessness like that is a rare commodity these days. I can see why that particular passage inspired her. Ah, uh, scripture? Scripture. The world as told in the Bible. Would you like to hear a verse? Sure, let's hear it. I'm afraid I don't have a copy of the scripture with me, but I can share a few passages. Here's one of my favorites. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage. I have conquered the world. In a moment, <coughs> in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall rise again incorruptible, and we shall be changed. She has a good memory. I have told you this so that you might have peace in- I'm going to send another call to me. What exactly is your we mission? We try to improve the state of the wasteland by doing good where we can, and by spreading the word of the Bible. We also recover and restore religious relics that we can find, 
But that's a secondary goal. How did you become a missionary? I was raised at the Abbey of the Road, <clears throat> where I was educated until I could receive my rights of mission. That's when I first left the Abbey. Okay, what else can we talk about? What else? Go with great care. She doesn't have a mission for me. Private field journalist Marcella J. Abbey of the Road Point Lookout Expedition. I'm the light of the world. He that following me walked not in darkness but shall have the light of life. Locals. Obadiah Black Hole. Met locals by name of Obadiah Black Hole. He lives in an old manor by himself. Class A manipulator. He solicited me to recover a book which he claimed to be a family heirloom. <clears throat> the man gives me a bad feeling. I want to investigate this book and his connection to the swamp folk of the region. But he was reluctant when pressed for more information. Maybe that is the guy, I don't know. Confirm Black Hole connection with regional beliefs. Appears that a recent ancestor to Obadiah named Constance Black Hole acquired obscure text known as Krivbeknich. Not good, have heard mention of the book before. Must destroy. Tobar the Ferryman. Ferryman, quite a character. Dubious on the faith, but tolerant at least. To hear my ministrations, seems there is quite a bit more to the man, and he certainly isn't without the smell of sin about him. Will visit periodically while in Point Lookout to preach if he will have me. Tribal Culture Cathedral. Tribal culture occupies major sanctuary to the faith in region. Cathedral of the Ark and Dove would love to mine location for artifacts or any intact text, but residents openly ostracize outsiders, have offered to induct me into their tribe, tempting to undertake their oaths as a ruse to gain access, but more reservations too great. Travel Journal The Pit Ah, oh, mentions the pit. Took shelter with a merchant caravan during a windstorm. More worrying tales from the pit. I wonder if my purpose will take me there one day. For now I must continue eastward to the Commonwealth. Leaving the Commonwealth. I've done what could I, what good I can here. Need to get out before it catches up with me. Was able to barter passage on the boat head itself. Don't know where I will end up, but that's the nature of his work. Sojourn in Capital Wasteland. Tobar tied the, the Duchess up in the Capital Wasteland. I spent the afternoon trading at a place called Rivet City. Broke bread with uh, Father Clifford. Inspirational to see another believer to, of the faith. Must make my way back here soon. Okay. Did you want to talk? I won't bite. Speak your mind, love. Go with... Another medical tent. Oh, 
one. Let's explore the other places. <coughs> Banding man. It says caution. No idea why. Probably <clears throat> Ah I guess I should go for the shower and come back. Well, I'm also thinking if I could find the next area in a way. So that I would have something to teleport to. Okay, now I can. Um see if I can find a shovel. I think I had some. Yeah, the fertilizer one. So now I can fast travel. interesting okay I can loosen up these things even though no I don't know why <coughs> I don't know why I'm doing it but I'm doing it or something.
Oh, that was a shovel here. I don't have to go for it, but I did. <clears throat> the footlocker is buried on the island. Uh, there's a single three in the Doe Delta. Be careful, I peppered the area with a bunch of fake mounds just in case the Yurks Gang finest locations. Ricard Banny. Okay. So one of those hoes has the thing. Exactly. Okay, so that was it. That was it. Dirty water. Have you played this DLC when you were doing <coughs> your Fallout 3? I think that so far is my most favorite. This DLC is definitely pretty decent. I played it on PS3 before the GOTY edition, so nope. Okay. <clears throat> so that that version did not have any. Here marks the landing of Captain John Smith's shell upon his discovery of Point Lookout in 1612. Okay. Did not have the DLCs. on I'm aiming right at it why don't you actually get that thing yeah I don't know when the DLCs came out
Oh, there's Keep some guy your distance. here. <clears throat> what are you doing in my house? I was just admiring the architecture. I didn't mean any offense. You're in Black Hall Manor. This isn't a tourist attraction. I appreciate your good taste. Come, let's talk. Okay. Come, let's talk. <clears throat> Good, good. People should be able to sit and have a conversation. Especially in times like these. Civil discourse. The greatest of our lost arts. Wouldn't you agree? I'm glad you think so. Conversation is but one of the virtues that separate us from Cretans like those swamp folk. Swamp folk who, I should mention, Absconded with a book, a <coughs> precious family heirloom. I wanted to ask you, friend, will you get it back? Yeah, that woman in the tent didn't like this guy. Good. The fools who stole it believe it has powers, so the thing is probably well guarded. There's a ritual site east of the boardwalk, in the basement of a ruined house. I think you'll find it there. Bring it back to me. And be paid. Okay. The dark heart of Black Hall. You really seem to hate Swapo. I suppose larceny isn't enough reason to hate. Why did they take your book? They think the book has a kind of occult power. Superstition and nonsense, of course. Are they dangerous? You must be new here if you don't know the answer to that by now. Yes, they're dangerous. They shoot at, smash, or try to eat anything that isn't them. And half the time they shoot at each other. They may have been men once, but no more. Do you mean those people living in the old cathedral? No, not them. That lot wants for brains. But they're at least somewhat civilized. The swamp folk have no creed, no morals. Okay. What else do you want to discuss? I smell sausage laser. Tell me about Black Hole Manor. I don't suppose there's any harm indulging you. What interests you? How old is this place? Hundreds of years and still standing strong. You're within a fine example of Victorian architecture, my friend. Your family is named after this place? Just as much as it's named after us, I suppose. We took the Black Hall name when we arrived on these shores, generations before the Great War. We do well to remember history, particularly in this dark time. What Uh, what should I be doing? Don't be daft. You agreed to retrieve my book. With more haste than this, I would have thought. You need to head to the ritual site east of the boardwalk and expect a fight. Okay. Don't. Sure, man. Sure, sure. I want to check your place a bit.
Well, he lets me take the stuff, so... It's not really stealing. Wait a moment. I need to know. Has Obadiah sent you in search of a book? Yes, as a matter of fact. I thought as much. Listen to me very carefully, child. You mustn't bring it to him. That book is known as the Krivbekne, and it's a thing of evil purpose. I kind of trust this Marcel. I found her diary on her computer and she seemed like she is a good person. What are you talking yes, about? Yes, the Krivbekne. The Blackhall Krivbekne. family has a long, evil history with the book. It was lost to them long ago, but it's found a way back to Point Lookout and Obadiah seeks to reclaim it. If I recover the book, I will consider bringing it to you. <coughs> Why do you want it so badly? Obadiah's no better than the heathens he's asked you to steal it from. He believes he can use it to control them, and God knows what else. There's a way to destroy that damned thing. I intend to do just that. If I recover the book, I will consider bringing it to I ask no more. You can find me at my tent on the beach, south of Blackhall. God bless your path, child. Sure. So where is this book? The Dark Heart of Black Hole. I guess this place still has some unexplored area, like at least one. Maybe I will do that first. But yeah, I want to kind of end it soon. It disappeared. Confused. I choose this way. And then it disappears. Is it underwater or something?
No, it's still showing it this way. Then it disappears. It. Maybe it's something related to that manor. I think I'm just gonna save it here. Okay, <clears throat> just basically wanted to make screenshots to, like if I want to discover if there are some locations I missed. <clears throat> so tomorrow we'll definitely finish this DLC, you'll start Mother Shibzata, which is the last DLC I haven't done. So I am thinking that, yeah, tomorrow might be the last time. Or on Wednesday, but definitely finishing this week, that's for sure. And you know that my next game will be Star Wars Jedi Survivor, so that's gonna be exciting too. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, I have to go eat dinner and go to work after, so it was a bit shorter stream today, two and a half hours actually. But that's what we can get, so that's what we have. <clears throat> but I really like this DLC, it's actually one of the most fun things in the game. And it's pretty challenging and interesting. I think that here, like, all kind of locations have some mission. I think that a lot of Fallout 3 have uh, locations without any missions. Take care everyone and tara ti di stingers up.